First at 11 tonight, the latest on the coronavirus in Ohio. Health officials now confirming 19,914 cases in the state with 1,038 deaths and just over 3,700 people in the hospital with COVID-19. Thanks for joining us for NBC4 at 11 tonight. I'm Mark Taylor. Now, coronavirus is taking a toll on the meat market in America with outbreaks at some of the biggest meat processing plants forcing them to shut down temporarily or slowing production. Now, this has some big grocery chains limiting how many uh, items of meat customers can get. Now, local markets and processors are feeling the effects here, too. NBC4's Eric Halpern is live in Grandview tonight with more on the effects at the local level here that we're learning are a bit different. Eric? The meat displays are usually pretty low on supply by Sundays at the butcher and grocer, but owner Tony Tanner says he's not usually as cleared out as this. Just about everything today. He's been seeing more new customers and says it's at least in part because of what's happening with COVID-19. Kroger and Giant Eagle are both temporarily limiting the amount of certain meat products customers can buy. Both say it's not because there isn't enough supply out there. A spokesperson for Giant Eagle says it's because of increased demand. According to a Kroger spokesperson, some processors the grocery chain uses are having challenges right now. We're still getting our normal allotment. We're just, we can't up our production any more than where we're at right now. While the butcher and grocer is seeing more customers right now, it isn't getting more product than usual because the processors they use to harvest are so busy. RNC Packing is one of the processors butcher and grocer uses. Typically this time of year, uh, we schedule or book out maybe two to three weeks. We're booking into October now. Co-owner Jamie Graham says part of the reason that's happening is due to the concern over the bigger plants. This whole thing is, I think, going to open a lot of eyes as to how important it is to get as close to where your food comes from as you can. As Eric's story reported, the processor and local farmer that he spoke with today emphasized what's happening right now is not a supply issue, but a disruption in that supply chain.